Hey guys, and welcome back to Bioshock. So, we pretty much still have the same objective as last time, and that is um, getting this ominous kind of camera in order to take pictures of some dudes. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Let us first of all though, explore this a little bit. Oh, and there's an audio log, so that was totally, totally worth it. Um, there is a corpse right there. That is not really the nicest thing to be looking at, but uh, we'll just listen to Fontaine must go real quick right here. Something must be done about Fontaine. While I was buying buildings and fish futures, he was cornering the market on genotypes and nucleotide sequences. Rapture is transforming before my eyes. The great chain is pulling away from me. Perhaps it's time to give it a tug. Alright, so, um, in case you haven't noticed yet, so in this area we are get being introduced to this, like, second character, uh, Fontaine. Oh god, okay. Let me, let me continue that thought in a second. Should I just sneak by them? I don't know if they see me. I almost feel like they should be able to, but I'm just gonna shoot at them. Hello, don't run away from me, I'm just gonna now get out of here and get rid of him. What do you do to Judas's? There we go. Okay, that's them taken care of. So I was gonna say, guys, um, so we're being introduced to this Fontaine character. Was there somebody shooting or am I just stupid right now? I might just very well be stupid. Um, but yeah, he is kind of um, depicted as some kind of, well, I guess rival to Andrew Ryan. You just heard like Andrew Ryan say that he, um, he wants to get rid of Fontaine. He's um, pulling the great chain away from him. Um, so basically he's taking some power away from him. And um, that's essentially what now Andrew Ryan and Fontaine are all about. They're all about a whole rivalry. And um, I, as you also might remember, there's this place called a Fontaine Fisheries, and that's obviously um, Fontaine's kind of business, where he does business with. And there's another uh, big daddy. So what's what's he gonna do? Is he gonna shoot? He's seriously gonna shoot at me. Have I aggroed the big daddy? Okay, fucking have. Fucking have. <laughs> okay, let's take care of this real quick. Um, would you please just stop? Why shoot at me? Why not shoot at the big daddy? How, why, why don't you? Okay, we are in big, big... Throw that. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I wanted. Come on, do that again. No, don't shoot at me. Just throw your grenade. Throw that so I can throw it back at you, and now I will uh, use some frag grenades in order to take it. Oh shit, that wasn't good now, was it? Um, I was gonna say shoot some frag grenades in order to take care of you. There is a proximity mine. I'm, oh god, almost died. <laughs> so I might want to use that real quick. And now let's uh, use some... Oh shit, okay, okay. <laughs> this is quite harrowing, but I, I think I can manage. So, we need... Oh, fucking hell, that was a proximity mine. We need some kind of, uh, just... Oh, yeah, armor-piercing rounds, for example. Those should do just fine. So, let's be careful right here. We are losing a lot of health. And by a lot, I mean we are dead. <laughs> so, yeah, Big Daddy encounters are always pretty difficult and usually what you want to do is uh, just prepare an awful lot before you then go fight them. The unfortunate thing right there was just that I hit him um, by accident with that stupid frag grenade because that one bitch was shooting at me. But uh, let's just return. I, I just noticed that I wasted like three uh, armor piercing rounds on her. Which is very unfortunate but um, can't change anything about that just yet. So now, where is the dude? I just heard a little sister. But that was more in that direction, so I'm kind of confused because the big daddy should be up here. Can I? Oh no. I was gonna <laughs> ask, gonna go buy that, but apparently I fucking cannot. Um, let us very quickly, very, very quickly before we continue, 
um, shock this so that we can then grab some first aid kits. We're kind of low on those right now. So machine gun rounds it is, I believe. Is the big daddy back here or did he go the other way? Can't pick up that. So now how much health? He doesn't have a lot of health. So I believe what I'm just going to do is first of all grab this and now just give him a shock and then uh, they tear him down with the machine gun should work out perfectly and it did so that is great that is fantastic I will very quickly now just uh, refill this pick up this hypo and then listen to the audio log that we just saw and um, then just carry on I saw one of these smugglers having a game of catching on the docks today and this surprised me because his hands were crippled during the war he was unloading the barge the other day when he was bitten from this sea slug. He woke up the next morning and he found he could move his fingers for the first time in years. I asked him if he still had that sea slug. As luck would have it. <laughs> he did. Okay, I'm just gonna buy this. And um, some more info on the sea slug. I believe I mentioned that before that those were like put inside of the little sisters so that they can then gather all kinds of all kinds of atom. Um, and apparently they have like some kind of very much like like healing effects. It, it seems like. Um, so now, what do we? Where do we need to go? That direction. We still need that camera, I haven't found that yet. Hopefully that comes fairly soon. So now, just give that good old whack. And, oh. Hello. You're dead. Um, thanks for your help, turret. Stupid jackass. <laughs> but alright, okay, there's more ammo. Very neat, very good to have. And um, man, this place is loaded with fucking like audio logs. Um, before I pick up that one, let us very quickly go out and grab the one that I left right here. Apparently about some girl, right? Darling Marsha, we don't know what has happened to you. Ryan's men have taken you away and said you are needed to save a rapture. Who needs a child to save a city? But I, I see these little girls crawling out of these beds, and I only wonder if you might one day crawl out of this bed and find these notes. We look for you, but if you find this, come to us at the Fighting McDonald's in room number seven. The call to our room is 7533. We miss you, our darling child. Okay, that was just a very great example of how um, they give you all kinds of, like, need info um, in, like, audio logs. So now we'll be able to eventually get inside of there. Uh, hotel room or whatever room that was and um, that should be fairly neat so I unfortunately cannot hack that I could destroy it but um, I don't really wanna be shooting around too much right now Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, a shit ton of those. A shit ton of those turrets. So I believe I might just want to go ahead and actually take them out without actually zapping them too much. Or do I? Okay, there is another one. There is... Okay, they're all over the place. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hack those by buying them. I'm not really... Um, I mean, what I was going to say is that I have a lot of cash right now. I don't really feel the need to uh, like hack everything manually I can just buy them okay there is another one which I might want to take out actually okay, this is not really working out too well for us okay that now it should be dead um, or is it yes it is and there's more god Christ this place is loaded <laughs> um, let's just move on pick up whatever they have right here I cannot uh, even pick those up, so, uh, let's see, might want to just zap that one, 
I realize that there's now t like one or two beside me and I'm just gonna now... Oh, there's somebody coming. Okay, he's dead. And man, guys, I just I need to stress. This is so much fun for me right now. I really like the gameplay of Bioshock. It's like so I don't know. You have to think a lot, and I really dig that about it. What I don't dig is that fucking turret, though. So uh, let's just use telekinesis on him, maybe. Oh, problem is the camera too. So maybe once that deactivates, I'm now gonna grab it and smash it against that. Should take care of both. Okay, that was perfect. It was almost really kind of even perfect. Um, yes, I'll take that hypo. And now, Rosie, he's not going to give me too much. Um, was that a healing station? I'm just going to zap that out with Zoom. Let's try that out. How much is it going to give me? Just the one. Kind of unfortunate, but um, still enough, I think. So, anything that we still need. There's another medipack and another one, so... Now we should be set and good to go, and um, I believe very soon we will be actually finding our uh, stupid camera. So let's go through this. Uh, apparently nobody's here, so let's just loot the shit out of this place once again. Um, gene bank, we don't want to swap anything just yet. So we'll just carry on instead. Um, there's another round. Okay, we did. We are full on those. So what do we have here? Interrogation room. Some kind of hidden room. What does it say? Session in progress when light is on. So the light is on. I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are Good. You have got the camera. Now get me some snap snaps on those spider splicers. And don't come back down here till you've got okay so now we have that camera and we can now take pictures of dudes and um, what that is essentially gonna do I mean um, apart from the quest that we're now on um, it's gonna allow us to get like better against certain enemies or uh, the enemies that you take a picture of so come and do something special so I can take another picture of you I don't know, like scream or whatever, and move around a little bit more. He doesn't. He won't even. He won't even do anything. <laughs> okay, I, I was expecting him to do some kind of stuff, but apparently he's just walking around in, in this room. So, uh, let's see. Now we're just off to take some pictures of dudes. So let's do that really quickly. Um, reload our pistol. I cannot see them even. To me, that was just like a standing fire right there. I don't know you, but I don't mind. I just killed your ass. So what do we have here? There's another gatherer's garden. That is apparently broken. But what do we have here? Another tunic. Tonic. <laughs> Not tunic. It's a tonic. Security bullseye. Oh, we attack. Okay. Creature Okay, that, I think that's kind of neat. I think I might want to use that, actually. So we hit somebody with a ball or a tomato or whatever it is, and that should send security after them. So uh, let's try that out very quickly. Okay, that is really good, actually. I mean, I might. Th you know, the downside is that there's not too many like security cameras around, or they they are just not around at all times. But when they're around, that is a very good thing and very neat thing to have. Okay, so apparently, another big daddy around. Um, I mean, I believe we're now on the other side of this. Previously, we were on the other side, but he doesn't seem to be protecting a little sister, so we're not really in the worst spot right here. There is another audio log, which I'm gonna play momentarily, um, basically, right now. Tall, 
drugs alone are not enough. I'll need money. And one other thing. Yeah, so this is essentially what I was like <laughs> even fucking spoiling earlier. Um, so that they now uncovered the true powers of the slugs. And here's even the next one, so why don't we now just listen to that? Okay, I kind of now just skipped over that audio log, which is very unfortunate, but I'm just gonna now replay that in a second. Just buy the shit out of those. I'm so rich. It's not even funny. Okay, there is another one, I know. But he should get detected by my... yeah. And he even does. So can I zap you and then just hack you for my own? Use? That would be very neat. Seems to be the case. So now I have a little bot friend. Yay! Um, okay, let's move on. Let's loot his body and um, then I guess go in this direction. Judah! Oh crap, okay, that was a spider spy. So we really gotta remember uh, taking pictures of these guys. I mean, we could even take care of like everybody. If I'm being totally honest, that's just gonna um, be good for us, so why don't we do that? That should be a nitro one. Oh, not even, it's just a lead head. Um, but let's not get too cocky with this. With being like a paparazzi, let's just, uh. Yeah, kill them instead and um, pick up all kinds of stuff. What do we have here? That's just a lantern, I guess. So are we in some kind of, okay, fighting McDonough's tavern, okay. Well, let's explore this area then. Once again, the main idea behind this is taking pictures of these guys, so we want to make sure to do that. There is a audio log, and, uh, but those are just the leadhead ones, right? That is very kind of kind of very unfortunate um, because it's not really what we need to do right now. Oh fucking hell! Okay, I almost died right there. That would have been unfortunate. So our friend is going to do some damage to them. I might do as well. Should be dead now. And um, is that other one still alive? Almost does not seem like it. So okay. Once again, let's get back to looting this place and um, then eventually finding some spider splicer dudes. Oh crap, okay. I might want to take a picture of her because I haven't yet. Is that a good one? Oh, it's A, yes. So when you like photograph them once they're like doing something special and cool, um, that's gonna be b very beneficial, so let's maybe take an- oh god, Cody just <laughs> took a picture of the explosion, okay, and that third one was also not very neat, um, let's not get hit by that, okay, so I believe we have taken photos of like every splicer that um, there is so far but still not really the spider ones that we like that we really do got to uh, take pictures of so let's get inside of this maybe there's something neat inside of here um, we can just shock them also put a bullet in his back and now okay we'll just explore this place a little bit more I don't know if I'll be getting to taking some pictures of splices today um almost feel like I'm not gonna just yet but uh, that's not too bad so what do we have here just bug oh and a frag grenade I want to pick up that for sure and there is a grate so why don't we take that oh okay not take a picture of it but take it out instead grab whatever it contains and now um I don't even know where that fucking leads, so this should be exciting. Um, the thought of me wife and child hiding in that filthy submarine makes me blood boil. Help me get 
get them to safety and I'll be in your debt for life. Alright. So I'm just gonna play the audio log now, but I believe we're now back in the beginning part of this. And I'm just gonna walk through it I again. Oh crap. Now, are you ever bringing old Peach them snappies? Or are you just sightseeing? I'm just sightseeing for now. Shut up, Peach. You old pervert. God damn it. Well, I'm on to taking pictures of you. How about that? That should be a good one. Once again. Very neat. Okay, another good one. Right as he's vanishing. And now. Okay. So now, the load pistol. Is he dead though? He, he can't really be dead. And I can't even see him right now. So, okay. Now he's dead for sure. Hopefully we won't be as well. And, oh yeah, there's the door that we heard about earlier in that audio log. So, let's actually go ahead and see whether we can um, get inside of that or not. So, I don't completely remember... We might have to listen to that again. So where is that once again? So Neptune's Bounty. And then it was the Masha one. 7533. Okay. No, stop talking. <laughs> Yes, I know. We've listened to you before. Don't you worry. It's all right. Okay, and apparently they are dead, so that is a very unfortunate. Um, I will now just listen to this very last audio log, and then I'm going to end the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I wonder what it now says. Oh, and there's a picture of her, too. Okay, that was a little scary. Oh, what? Now it's playing. What the fuck is going on with these? <laughs> now it's playing the one that it didn't play like I don't know minutes ago. Okay, and on that note, I'm gonna end the episode, guys, so, the, just fucking subtitles, they're so off, it's, it's very weird, I don't know how that happens, but anyways, I'll see you next time, and then we will actually get to take pictures of some spicers, for sure, I swear, I will, <laughs> so until then, goodbye.